guys welcome to my video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to do toys on your own if you guys haven't you guys could watch my part one so we're going to start my first toy i already made my loop and i'm gonna put a small bead it's just a circular bead you could put any kind of um, base toy you guys want um the next thing i'm gonna do is make a bow i already kind of showed it to you guys but if you guys haven't watched my part one that's a bow uh, you just kind of scrunch it and then i want to poke a hole in the middle after you have something looking like this i'm going to add uh, a wood these are balsa wood the next thing I'm going to add to this toy is this and then just kind of push it through and then what I'm going to do is going to put another balsa wood so so far we have something looking like this you want to now make another bow tie there we go once you're happy with the shape you could just add it to your toy the last thing you want to do is add a bead of your choice. This could also be wood, acrylic, any kind. I made my loop already, so this is the final product. This took less than a minute to do. Hopefully you guys could give it a go. Let's start our second toy. I already did my loop. What you want to do is get a small bead and pull it through so we have that at the end and then you get one of these toys and this might be a bit tough but you could totally poke it through and there we go and then just pull it down and there we go it looks like something like this once you have your ball in you want to make a bow tie and that's my bow tie and just poke it through once you have something like this i wanted to put one of these on so you have something looking like this and then I'm gonna do another bow tie but with the color green this is what everything is looking like right now I'm gonna get this blue ball and also poke it through just like I did with the green one and sometimes poking it through with these could be a bit tough just try being as gentle as possible and try a different area if it doesn't go the way you intend it to but eventually it gets in and then I'm just gonna put one of these white beads again um, just on the top area I'm gonna put some of these beads over here um, just to fill up the top area I think two should be enough yep two seems good and then just cut where you're happy with and I'll show you guys the end result this is a very simple toy but I really liked how it turned out so let's start our third toy um, I'm going to start our next toy um, now for this toy it doesn't matter what color is uh, the beads that I'm gonna use and I'll tell you why because you're not gonna even see them at the very end so I put a bead on my choice and what you want to do is pick um, cupcakes of the color you want to go with and then you poke it in the center once it's all the way down it will look something like this but what you want to do is put another bead once that is done you want to put another cupcake um, the same way the reason why you want to put a bead in between is because if you don't they will be stacked together and it will look like this and we don't want our toy to look like this we want more dimension to it so you want to keep repeating that until you get at a height that you're very happy with. This is the size I'm comfortable with going. Um, and then what I'm going to do is add a top toy. Now you could get these toys from Dollarama, Walmart. I mean Dollarama has a good selection. They're in the baby section and you want them to be soft and nothing hard. And I'll tell you why. It's because you're gonna pretty much poke a hole. If they're hard, you're not gonna be able to do that. And I think these are also considered shower toys. So you might wanna look at Amazon. So I already poked my hole and it's gonna be definitely hard from seeing from there, but I just use scissors and cut it. People have their own methods. The problem is not putting it through, but 
actually getting it out from the other end especially with this one because there's a bit of a distance so let me do that and then i'll come back to you guys yay i finally got it in this actually took less than 10 seconds i'm surprised i thought it would take longer because as you can see my metal part kind of got wonky because yeah, sometimes these toys could be a bit tricky. This toy is also very safe, like um, these shower toys. A lot of people use it. Nothing's going to happen. No worries. I just want to put a top toy. You don't have to, but I think it will look cute. Look at it. <laughs> it looks so cute. And then I'm just going to cut it, and I'll show you guys the final product. So this is the final product. All these toys could be reused other than the um, cupcake tins. I mean, if your bird kind of chews it up, yeah, just throw that away, but... You could use the beads again and this toy, you could reuse it, um, there's nothing wrong with it. Once the toy gets a bit destroyed, just save the little bits and then you could make another toy out of it. Tell me what you guys think, I think this turned out really cute. And then we're off to making another toy. I'm going to do our next toy and uh, for the bottom I want to first add a bell, so I kind of put it like this make a loop so i have a bell over here and then i want to use something like this i don't know what they're called and just pull it through and i'm gonna put two of these so in goes the second one so it kind of looks like this this is because at the bottom they'll have something else to play with and then I'm going to add one of these. These came with my older toys. I don't know what they're called, to be honest. But I'll find a link for you guys. And I have two of them. So I'm going to add two of them. So this is what our toy is looking like at the moment. What you want to do next is make a, a foam and put it into a rectangle. And then just poke it through. Okay, there we go. And then we have something looking like this. And then I'm going to make a bow tie, which I'll show you guys, kind of became a pro on these. And you also put this through. So it looks something like this. And then I'm going to put another one of these blue ones and another bow tie, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So guys, I did make a bit of a difference, so I added three of these blue uh, foams instead, so it kind of looks like this. The last toy I'm going to add is a ducky, which I poked the whole one from here, and then it actually comes out from the head section, and it doesn't, it doesn't really show up, so it looks very natural when it's on, but let me put this through and I'll show you guys what it looks at the end. Guys, I am done with my toy and this is what it really looks like. I think this one turned out so pretty. It's really cute with the duck and stuff. And yeah, so let's start making our other toys. Our next toy is really easy. We're going to make a bunch of bow ties. So we get this, make a bow tie. Now you could use any colors you want. But these are the colors I'm going to be using. Different tones of blue. And I'm going to be using yellow. Um, so let me show you the different kinds of blue I'm going to be using. So this is actually the yellow one, obviously. And then you might be like, what's this going to look like at the end? It looks really pretty, actually. And then this is the other blue that I will be using. So there we go. Kind of make it nice and even. And not all the toys have to be big. I mean, and even if the metal is kind of looking weird, guys, it's 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 bendable. So this is going to be a bunch of bow ties. And I'll show you guys what it looks at the end. So, guys, I made my bow tie toy. Um, it's a bunch of bow ties pretty much stacked together. And it kind of looks like this. Um, I think it turned out well. Let me show you guys all the products I made. I think I made a total of five toys. And I think that's enough for now. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys all the toys I made. So before I end the video, I wanted to show a close-up of all the toys I made. This is pretty much the green starfish toy I made. This is another very simple toy I made. Um, and we have this. We have this very cute ducky toy, which I really like. 
I think this turned out really cute, especially with the bell and these very uh, natural material. And then this is the bow tie toy I made. I made this um, a very similar one of this one, but for a Halloween toy. So pretty much these are all the toys that I have um, made so far. I am going to make a lot more, but I'm not going to film them. I'm going to upload my cage setup soon so you guys could see that. This is why I'm going with certain colors, um, which if you watched my first part, again, it will be yellow, green, and variations of blue. So yeah, there is actually a reason behind that. Um, and I guess when you guys see my cage setup, you will understand a bit better why I went with these colors. So I don't know which order the toys will be uploaded in. Most likely I'll have my cage video up and then I'll have you guys see my toys. Um, but we'll see, yeah. So look forward to the cage setup video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the toys I made. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.